I want to look back in nostalgia to what? 10 days ago, 27th of July. And a lot's happened since then and a lot's changed. And, and my question is that festival was called reuniting, sorry, uniting the kingdom. And my question is, how can we reunite the kingdom? That was bringing people together. We had people from every single background in this country, every single background. And everybody came together with one common cause, and that was uniting the kingdom. In other words, getting everybody together, rallying around the flag, rallying around the family, building a community, building friendships, celebrating our Christian culture, celebrating our Christian heritage. There was prayer, there was worship, there was secular stuff, there was religious stuff. It was a festival. Some people got drunk, some people didn't get drunk. It was an amazing day and we kept the peace despite provocation. We kept the peace despite the Met police marching a man with a Palestinian flag up by the side of our demo. It wasn't a demo, it was a festival by the side of our festival. Uh, we had a lot of Jewish people at that festival. And in view of what's happening in the Middle East, they would have found that massively offensive. We had some Muslims there, we had Sikhs there, Indians, Chinese, people from Africa, people from the West Indies, obviously loads of people from England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland. Tricklers, Union Jacks, Red Anne of Ulsters, Welsh flags, Scottish flags, everything. What a day. How can we get that back? How can we bring that back? It was an amazing thing to bring everyone together. And it has been absolutely blown apart. The narrative has been blown apart. And the man who put that together, the man who put the money up, the man whose team organised it, well, he's now being demonised and blamed for what's happened in the UK, even though he wasn't even in the country. All he did was comment on what was happening. And he's now been threatened with all sorts, with arrest, with all sorts of stuff going on. We'll certainly know that the, the police were were looking for him in, in Cyprus, which I find incredible. Don't think there's a warrant out, so what's going on? But this is the, this is the repressive new regime we're under. How can we, as a people, get back to where we were 10 days ago before this disgusting totalitarian and divisive regime took power? So I didn't see Keir engaging with the patriotic community today. No, he went to the mosque. Had to go to the mosque. It's not even Friday, Keir. We need to do something about this. We need to make change in the country and we need to do it we need to do it fast. So we are gonna have another festival. Don't know where it's gonna be, don't even know the date yet. We've got some ideas kicking about. But my question is very, very simple. Are you willing to come together again? Are you willing to get those that diverse group of people from all racial backgrounds, all religious backgrounds? We had Muslims there. We had Muslims on the platform speaking. We had Muslims in the crowd. Are you willing to do that? Because one thing our country needs more than anything right now is being brought back together. And after all the divisiveness and all that's happened and all the, the horrendous intimidation that's happened and the violence that's happened on all sides, can we bring this back together? Ours is a peaceful movement. It's got to stay a peaceful movement. And we cannot be tempted, pulled this way and that way. Do you know something? We all get angry. We all get angry. What happened the Monday after our amazing celebration was disgusting horrific we still don't know the full details we still don't know what the man's motivation was isn't that a big question that we should still be asking but we don't know and we're rightly angry about that but the reality is we will get the answers to those things but what we need to do in the meantime we need to plan we need to come together and we need to start putting our country back together that's what our movement's about and the other questions we'll get answers for in time so my suggestion is that people start planning. I'm convinced that the next one's going to be sometime in October. Just haven't got a date nailed down yet. So we need to be planning. We need to be getting ready to, to help out in any way that we can to make this thing happen. So guys, that's my, my big message tonight is we had the Uniting the Kingdom rally and everything afterwards, man, it just blew apart through no fault of ours whatsoever and certainly no fault of Tommy's. Every day while those riots were happening, he was saying, calm down, calm down. Okay, guys, well, look, that's, that's all I'm going to say about that. We need to reunite the kingdom.
let alone uniting the kingdom, we, we need to reunite it. See you all soon.